Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. I want to show you a common problem we have in radiology, which is the simple thing of counting the vertebral bodies. So on occasion, a patient will have a transitional segment down in this area between the lumbar vertebral bodies and the sacral vertebral bodies. They look distinct because the vertebral bodies of the lumbar spine are square. And when we get down to the sacrum, the sacral vertebral bodies are cone-shaped. They are wider at the top and they taper down. So on this patient, we say, wow, this looks more square than tapered, but this could be an S1 vertebral body, an S2 and S3. This may be the sacral segment S1, and the lumbar spines here, or possibly the lumbar spine comes down here, and this is the bottom lumbar vertebral body, and this is where the sacrum begins. But it's really hard to tell because this patient has what we call a transitional vertebral body. It's not quite a lumbar vertebral body shape, is not quite the sacral shape. So we say this is a transitional vertebral segment at the lumbosacral junction, and sometimes we'll say this has been arbitrarily designated as an S1 vertebral body that is partially lumbarized, which means it looks square rather than cone-shaped. A very, very common finding, and one radiologist may say this is a um, S1 vertebral body that is partially lumbarized, and this is L5-S1, and the next radiologist who comes along may say, hey, this is the L5 vertebral body that is partially sacralized. It looks kind of like the sacrum. And sometimes there's no real way to know, but uh, we just go by the last person who dictated it. Say, you know, uh, the prior examination described a transitional segment, and we're going to keep the same convention. And this is really critical because if there is um, a disc that's abnormal and the surgeon has to do surgery here, they need to know what this is called. This could be L34 or L45, depending on who read it. And that's it. Thank you very much.